What's up guys, iPod Tech Pro here, and um, today I'm going to show you how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator or GPS phone on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Okay, just open up Cydia. And, um... Okay, it's still loading. Okay, so then you go to Manage. Mine's not working for some reason. Okay, now you go to sources. Okay, manage and click sources. Wait for it to load. Okay. Okay. And you're gonna have to push edit and add. And you're gonna add a source. Uh, it's gonna be in the description, but uh, I'll type in and show you anyway. It's cydia dot xlies dot com slash. You don't have to add the slash, it's just there. I'm going to show you what it is, just in case you don't want to look in the description. Too lazy to look in the description. Okay. Add source, and it will say verify. Just click add anyway. It's it's not not a big deal. It, that thing says and it's just all the Excelies things are things that cost money um, that you can get for free. So you need to add GPS phone. Type in GPS phone and go down and scroll down. I, I'm gonna just do it like this. So I can show you what it looks like. The one that you need to get. Not the one that has a little arcade game looking thing on it, but the one with an X. Then you also need to add GPS phone BIOS. Okay. Wait for it to load. Okay. Now you have to go up to where it says modify and click confirm because it was, or install. It will say install, but yeah, you have to add GPS phone and GPS phone BIOS. Alright, so. Once you do that, you should have a little thing that says restart springboard. Do that for both of them. Unless the, unless the GPS phone bio says return to city. Just return to city. Open up GPS phone. It should be a little app. And where it says search in the top right corner, you just want, you just want to click that. And you're going to exit out of every, cross out everything that's on there and type in cool ROM. And in a minute, I'm accidentally going to click the wrong thing. So it's, I'm going to accidentally click an ad. So yeah, I can tell what I'm going to do because I'm voicing over. What I've already done. Okay, go to coolrom.com. You can go to dope roms too, but they don't have as many as many roms as cool rom. So you just want to type in the thing you want to get for GPS phone or G GBA Game Boy Advance. So I accidentally clicked that little white ad right there. See, I didn't want to do that. So you can really just you can really what I just do right now. What I just will do right now. I'll just dope roms. What you do is you just type in any G. GBA, Game Boy Advance, Simulator, uh, ROM you want, the game, and go to scroll down and just click confirm, right there, download ROM right there. If you know how to do it on a computer, it's just, it's the same thing. Okay. Has to be a .zip file or a dot, um, wait, no, I think it's just a dot .zip file. Alright, once you do it, you should say, um, you need to confirm that you have this legally and I do I have um, two of those legally but Legend of Zelda Minish Cap which is that one that said DL.PHP is the one I don't have but I really wanted to play that game if you download it's not it's you're not gonna get like you're not gonna get arrested for it it's it's not something it's like really that illegal but it's just copyright issues so it's still downloading this will take a couple minutes, just depending how big the file is or how long the game is. This will take about maybe another minute, so if you want to skip skip ahead, just do that. Okay, it's still downloading. Okay, okay. 
So once you do that, you should get off of it. Sorry, I walked away for a second. Go to landscape and sound. It's just pretty much the best one. Portraits, just to like just holding it upright. So it should turn to the side. It's just for the video. It's doing this. And uh, see, as you can see, I have a working Game Boy emulator. Working Game Boy Advance emulator. So I uh, hope you like the video, guys. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, please. It would be very helpful. But once you do that, you should push... Uh, when you when you quit the menu, you should push save and exit. And just push save to currently loaded state. Oh, make a new one. So I forgot to tell you that. And then you can just go and resume anywhere you want, even if you're in some sort of battle or anything. Or wherever you can't save. So hope you like the video, guys. Um...